宣伝に役立てるでしょう全力でお相手いたしますはい、そしてあなたは、あなたは、キューティーアニメーターを、ローバー。ローバー、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、The game also incorporates visual novel elements, allowing you to follow the overarching story and engage in heartwarming dialogue cutscenes to learn more about your character and their teammates. In terms of gameplay, Alice Gear is simple but provides energetic combat battles where you can engage in 1v1 or tag team fights. You can build your ultimate team or gear up to fight solo, offering flexibility in your playstyle to some degree. The visual battle hex progression system visually represents your progress and allows you to follow different routes towards your end goal. Furthermore, the game offers online battles with friends, providing an opportunity to challenge and prove your skills as the best actress in Aegis. I did try to find an online match but had no luck, so this is one that may be better if you do have friends who own the game also, and you can then set up battles online with each other. Unfortunately, there is no local split screen multiplayer, which is a shame as this would have also added to the replayability of the game. The game showcases its full content from the start, giving you access to all modes and characters, except for three characters that you unlock after your first playthrough. The story mode presents a similar layout regardless of the character chosen, but the voice acting and character interactions are well done, adding a unique charm and expressiveness to the game. The battles take place in different themed arenas with obstacles, and players dash around utilizing weapons and skills to defeat their opponents. While the combat mechanics offer some strategy in terms of timing and navigation, battles can easily be won by exploiting melee attacks, which can make the experience feel repetitive and lacking in challenge. I found after a while, shooting and dodging just weren't as effective as getting up close to your opponent and letting them have it. After completing the story mode, you unlock additional characters and can purchase costumes through in game credits. However, the game's reliance on replay in the story mode for credits again becomes repetitive. Considering the large number of playable characters and the individuality of gear and weapons for each character, the visuals in the game are well animated, showcasing the speed and controls of the characters. The customization system offers depth, although understanding the stat bonuses of certain gear can be challenging. Now, I had fun playing Alice Gear Aegis CS Concerto of Simulatrix. It's such a mouthful. Although it is a very shallow experience and the combat feels very samey throughout, without much added to give the game some variation, this one will definitely appeal to players interested in the mech anime girl theme. The game provides an initial entertaining experience driven by its waifu appeal, but the lack of substantial content ultimately limits its long term appeal. The repetitive combat and heavy reliance on replay in the story mode for credits detract from the overall experience, and not having local split screen multiplayer is a big shame. Again, if you're a fan, then you may still find some enjoyment in this game despite its shortcomings. It's a game that does have charm to it, and the combat can be fun even for a short while. Plus, if you have friends who also have the game, you can play against them in online multiplayer. Alice Aegis CS Concerto of Simulatrix is out now on the Nintendo eShop, priced at $24.99 in the UK and $29.99 in the US. Have you played it? What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.